what's up Nord47 back with you once again on the Golf Club 2019 and as you have probably guessed from the title thumbnail and the picture up on the top left of your screen right now we are back at Pebble Beach for today's video and the next course in the course challenge series usual rules apply all the usual aids have been turned off green grid still on for the purpose of time um, and I have left everything default all course conditions are as, as always, as I set the default, uh, so fairway is going to be normal, greens are soft, green speed is fast. And I'm going to keep the wind speed as well as direction at default. Um, so we may have some calm winds, we may have some strong winds, and we may have some swirling winds. Whatever the, whatever the conditions may be currently for the course, we're going to be playing off the blue tees, which are 7,017 yards. And because I'm recording this on a Saturday evening, we shall play pin set 3 for a change. <coughs> Um, course has been recreated and designed by friend Bomber. Absolutely amazing job done on this course. It's one of my all-time favourite courses throughout any golf game, um, as well as even watching it on the telly during the events. So uh, without wasting any more time, let's jump on, jump straight on into it, and I shall see you in just a second down on the course. Okay, so here we are on the first hole, and winds don't look to be too bad. Maybe about six to seven, if not pushing up to eight mile per hour, looking at the meter there now at the moment. Um, so hopefully it can stay in and around about that range and that won't be too bad at all. Um, this t this first tee shot is always a bit of a daunting one, especially when you can't aim down the fairway. So as you see, I don't know if you can hear the button press there, I'm pressing triangle, I'm pressing away, but I cannot get down there. Um, so let's have a look. 236, 05, okay, there's that for is that the first bunker or is that the far one? That should be the far one right at the center of the screen now. So that'd be about 305. Let's say aim it about here, hopefully. Uh try for a perfect perfect. Oh, when I got a fast salt's so gone left. That will definitely not be in the fairway. Pulled it as well. And yeah, 301 came to a sudden stop is a rougher bunker. <coughs> it is heavy rough and it is dug down in there as well. So we have got uh, 95 to 100 yards to the pin. Um, let me see. Now with that headwind, pretty much a headwind anyway. It's angle. We're going to be aiming out this way a little bit. Oh, so as you see, I've got uh, no lie grid as well as usual uh, am I gonna get up and over that tree is the question I think I'll be doing a gap wedge just due to the ball lie 80, 80 to 87 percent wind has picked up a little bit maybe it's about 8 to 10 we'll just get it up here as far as we can I think oh just clipped the top of the tree there but it's back in the fairway pin tucked at the back it looks like <clears throat> so I got 40 to 45 yards. Let's see if the overhead will give us anything. No, so I'll go with I'll go down the middle, <clears throat> say 43-ish, you know, around about that mark, 42 to 43. So um, I think, or this one. Hopefully, we can get a little bit of roll out on this. Just a tiny little touch of uh, touch of deal off because the greens are soft. And fast again. I have to warm up on that. Oh, that's gone long. <clears throat> well, it obviously was going to actually with the fast downswing. I do have to get that under control. It's already already causing some problems. That's three uh, three strikes in a row now. Getting fast. So again, not going to be using the putting method that counts on the, the green grids. It's just a case of having a look. And seeing how well we can judge it. But it looks like it might break off to around about here. No, that was a good bit more. <clears throat> First round of the day, so it might take me a little bit to uh, to get into things. But we're going to be starting off with a bogey. And then we go. So, plus one through one. As we head on to the second hole. 
And I don't know if you heard that through the mic, but there's my headset again telling me about the auto shutdown. Alright, pretty straightforward, par 5. I'll say aim at about that bunker on the right hand side. This is where I definitely want the fast. Uh, oh, and now I get a very fast. <laughs> That's coming well left. That could be in the bunker. Could be, no, it looks like it might be okay. Oh, we're back in the heavy rough again. <clears throat> so I'm not getting there in two, that's for sure. Um, we are left with 200 to 220. So let's see. That's a terrible lie with the 5 wood. I don't even trust the 4 iron to carry over onto the other fairway just before the green. So I think we'll play safe. And I think we'll just get it up the fairway a bit with the lob wedge. That's a better swing. And back into the fairway. Okay. <clears throat> See if we can get this in close. 120 to 130 up two feet. Mm, going by the 162. Behind where I am. I'm going to say... Closer to the 120. So that's going to be a gap wedge. Maybe a little touch of loft. Wind is, yeah, wind is roughly about 8 mile per hour, I'd say. That's uh, better swing. Pulled it a bit. <clears throat> oh, and the wind is not really bringing around. I put it out way too far. Made it to 116 or something. It's coming back. Is it on the green? I think it is. Oh, no. Okay, we're in the bunker. <laughs> not off to a good start on this one. So it's going to be a flop shot out of here. It's a bit high, the... Uh, Edge of that bunker. 14 to 16, but half swing should do that. Oh, and I wasn't meant to do that. I do apologize. <clears throat> That's a uh, force of habit muscle memory as soon as I take a swing because I always have the uh, the automatic follow cam turned off anyway. So, thumb just automatically hit up on the D pad there. But we do manage to save par. <clears throat> okay, third hole par 4, stroke index 12. This can be a tricky one as well. Wind is left to right, so I'll say if I am about here, a little bit of draw, and I'm hoping if I can get a normal fast, not a very fast, should pull it around just nicely. Maybe a little bit more uh, draw on it. That's a bit better. It's coming around nicely. That is the good thing. I'm not going to know. I'll have to look at them numbers down the bottom right, or else I don't think I'm going to be able to see where that is. Looks like it came to a gentle stop, so it might be okay in the fairway. And we are. Okay. So, a bit of an angled headwind. 90 to 95. Is there a marker? There is. 72. Ooh, now is... Lob wedge going to be enough? We'll go lob wedge. A little bit of D loft for that wind. Just put it out a little bit as well. Old strike. It's coming back nicely. It's tracking. I can just about make out the pin. Touchdown at 88, 89. And it's settled. And three feet to the hole. Beautiful. <coughs> we won't, uh, won't have a look at the replay for that one. But we do manage to make the birdie and bring it back to even. So, moving on to the fourth hole. Par 4 again. Stroke index 14. And with that wind, just about, just right at the flag marker there, you can see that bunker. Just at the end of the fairway. So let's say if we aim just about there, and again, fast downswing. There we go, come on back left. Let's come around slowly. If we can come a little bit more left, I'll be happy. But it looks like it should be okay. I think it is. And it is. Just about. <laughs> I think about a yard or so just to spare there before we're hitting into the light rough. But we've got 45 to 50 in. How have we got a marker? <clears throat> okay, looking at that. And 
obviously you can't see but I'm turning my head sideways now to have a look at this uh, just to make it l online with the flag marker on the green uh, I'm gonna say we're at the 50 yard mark <coughs> so that should be perfect for an about three quarter loft hopefully on the lob wedge maybe a little bit more up Decent swing, but it's gone a bit right. Touchdown at 48, stopped dead at 49. But just got six feet, so let's be careful with this one. Doesn't look like it's going to break too aggressive, maybe about here. And there we go for another birdie, so moving along nicely. Now we're heading in the right direction, two under. Actually, sorry, no, I beg pardon, it is one under as we move on to the fifth first part three of the course 193 yards down four f or yeah down four feet so i'll be playing about 192 to the pin with that wind soft greens hopefully <clears throat> oh we got to work with space wise we have got plenty of room to work with so hopefully maybe about there straight up 194 I'm not going to touch it pulled it slightly it's not going too far left hopefully touch down about 189 188 189 and it's made its way up to 193 but is it on the green it is on that's a beautiful shot we definitely definitely need to take a quick look at that again <clears throat> I did not think it was going to be that close. So let's have a quick look. There she goes. Oh, a little bit of an upslope there. I think that just stunned, but just trickled back around nicely. That was a beautiful shot into that green. So this should be just fairly straightforward. It'll tap in. And now we take it to two under par. <clears throat> As we come on to one of my favourite par fives. The sixth hole. Followed by one of my all time favourite par threes as well. The seventh. Good swing there. Don't come too far left on me. That should be just nice. Hard to make out that ball trail, but there we go. We're nicely in the fairway. I absolutely love this version of the course. Bomber did an absolutely excellent job with this. <clears throat> the lighting is just perfect on it. So 220 to 240. Um, have we got a marker near us? 185 ahead of us. Um, I'll go with the five wood. And hopefully it's more closer to the 240 mark. But it is a par 5, so if we do go over, we should hopefully be alright as long as we don't go too far over and end up down where, <laughs> down where or past the, the card path there. Definitely wanted a perfect downswing that time. And this will be interesting. Obviously, there's a blind shot up to the green. Touchdown 200, 201. And the upslope of that green stopped at 211. <clears throat> we are on the green 35 to 40 feet. Put that pin in. That's the only problem with not zooming down towards the hole with the right stick <clears throat> as it normally would is it's hard to make out those grid, uh, the, the beads running along the grid lines closer towards the hole. So I mean I can see a little bit of left to right in front and then some right to left. I'm going to play straight. It looks like it is going to come back left to right towards the end. So we'll play straight. Get it, Aim to just get it close. Maybe I might just aim just a little bit left of the pin. Or the hole. And it's saying it's up a foot. So if we're saying that marker is roughly... Again, it's hard to tell. TGC2, now you'd be able to see the flag coming through the marker. 
And if it's up a foot, we'll say it's about 37, so... 55. I do remember from the previous video, we do need to uh, go back to this old method here now, putting the marker out. Because <coughs> that was coming up very short. Can I come back left? Come on back, come on. Oh, that was still shy. But got it to five feet. We'll be careful of this one, just make sure. And there we go, so I'll pick up another birdie and take it to three under. So, here we are. As I say, my, one of my all-time favourite par threes. 108 down 28, so that's going to be playing about 99. Now with that wind, I'm going to pop it back up about 10, so we'll say 109. So that's a sand wedge. But maybe just a touch of D left. I'd say the wind might just hang the ball up in the air a little bit longer than I wanted to. So just to be safe. Great swing. It's a little right of the pin, but touch down 107. Let's come back to 106, but it should be nice and close. And it is six feet. <clears throat> a tricky little putt, even for a six footer. A little bit of left to right, and a little bit of right to left end. I think we'll just keep it straight at it. And uh, no problem at all, straight in. So we are indeed, for now, touch wood, moving along in the right direction. Four under as we head on to the eighth. And this can also be a very daunting, uh, very daunting hole. Blind tee shot. <clears throat> I think I will take. I've got a tailwind. So I think I'll take the five wood just to be safe. Definitely want a perfect downswing that time. Well, that should be just fine towards the end of the fairway, hopefully. Speed it up a little bit, stopped at 237. <coughs> we are in the fairway, and I was about to say it's a bit of a bad lie for the fairway, but of course, I have uh, automatic shot suggestion off, so we're on the driver. Um, so we've got 180 to 200 down 19 feet, so 156 ahead of us there. Um, I will say 180, maybe 185. Oh, wait, no, 180 to 200. I'll go in between, I'll say 190. Excuse me, and we'll take six off. That's a 184. <coughs> now I think. Now well, the greens are soft. If I take the seven iron, a little bit of D left on it. Wind has calmed right down. It's maybe on about four or five, if even. Decent swing. A little bit curvy at the top. It's gone well left though. Is on the green. Made it to 184. I think it was a 14 to 16 feet. Good break on this one. Just pop that pin back in there. Um, so this looks like it's probably going to break near the green line. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll just pop it out to the green line. <coughs> And we'll pop it up to six. It looks like it's going to be playing about 15. Playing about 15. It's about to the green line. Oh, I think I underhit that. I did. Did indeed underhit that. <coughs> but not to worry if we can scramble it for par. Which we do. So, ninth hole. Par 4, 498 yards, stroke index of 6. Pretty much aiming about here, and fast downswing should be good. Ooh, pulled it left as well, though, but the fairway does kick right anyway. Touchdown. And uh, didn't kick as far right there, didn't look like it anyway. Oh, we're in the sand. Really did pull that left. I needed to go a lot more right than that. <clears throat> but again, fast downswing as I say, and then pulling it left. Um, 
what can we do don't think I'm gonna get the greens 200 to 220 I will hazard a guess at that 180 yard marker there that were maybe again about 190 I could try a fast downswing coming out of it. it is a good lie for a four iron we'll try it could end up uh, in that greenside bunker but it's worth a shot fast fast it's not coming too far left it looks like it's tracking fairly well actually now can it get up there 187 it's not on the I think where are we we're just off the green it looks like we're in the fairway so decent enough outcome uh, 20 to 25 yards so are we gonna get a little marker there 17 we'll say say it's more about 25 <clears throat> it's gonna be a flop shot a little bit of loft on it and perfect downswing this time oh hit the pin beautiful shot beautiful shot in there shame it didn't drop it in but it's just a little tap in save that par so we do remain at I believe it's four under as we start to head back home now with the back nine it is indeed four under so here we go with the tenth hole stroke index of seven pretty similar again uh, have we got any reference points to look at I can just about see the edge of the cliff there so I'd say if I am a, yeah, about there should be good yeah just looking at the overhead I can sort of see just about see where the fairway is curving out there It's not too bad. Again, it's coming around a bit further left than I'd like. But that kicked right nicely. It looks to be nice and say it is. It's in the fairway. Just look at those numbers. It's made it to 325 yards. Leaving us with 120 to 130 into the pin. Ball is below the feet. So we'll get to the gap wedge anyway for now. And... I will hazard I guess that 147 that we might be maybe about 125 about 125 I think I'll keep with that wind ball will go right off the club it should not, and hopefully that wind can then bring it back I'll play this straight up I won't touch it at all and hope it is about the 125 mark that's a good swing wind is bringing it back ball wasn't uh, wasn't as far below the feet as it, as it looked so the wind brought it back a little bit more than I wanted. I was hoping. But it looks to be good. 10 to 12 feet. That's not too bad. Still a tricky... Oh, what's that screen glitch there? Oh, that's horrible. Um, anyway, moving along with the putt. I think... I'd say it's going to break out again near enough to the green line I'll put it just over it it's down Let's see it's playing 10 to 12 markers up markers level on the hole at 12 so it's playing about 12 down three right I'll play it as 10 <coughs> and I'm actually I'm gonna put it about here can't see with the golfer's leg and it's in <laughs> I heard that dropping in nicely so we do take another birdie and make it five under. <coughs> Moving along very, very nicely, but there is still plenty of chances for everything to go completely wrong in this round. Perfect, perfect off the tee should be just nice. Aim it straight down. Don't want to pull it too far left, although I know the wind is slightly angled a little bit left to right, but it's not that strong. That should be just nice, just where the, it comes up to the rough, I think, a little bit before. Leaving us with a, oh, actually a, a good bit further back than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but we've got 85 to 90. Don't have a marker, we'll say. It's going to be a lob wedge. <clears throat> and I think I'll put about three quarter loft on there. Ball is on a good upslope. A little bit of a tailwind, maybe a bit further up on the left, almost full. It's a good swing. Needed to put a bit more left though. Made it to 81. I think a touchdown. That <coughs> excuse me. 
ball. We are inside 10 feet at 8, so that is good. Shouldn't break too aggressively. A little bit of right to left, right where the ball is. Going back left to right. Not too bad, I'd say about left edge. Oh, and wow, I massively under hit that. <laughs> That's a big fail. That is a big, big fail. So, make sure to hit it firmly enough this time. Send it home for par. <clears throat> and we will remain at 5 under for now. With par 3 coming up. Stroke index 1. Where is the pin located? Okay, we've got plenty of room to work with. <clears throat> 204 to the front of the green. Down eight, no, down 23 feet. So, take off 8. That's going to be about 196. It's playing to the front. So I'm going to take a look. Yeah, 208 to the pin is roughly what it's playing. <clears throat> Very slight headwind. Angled a bit. So I think 4 iron. But a little bit left and we'll pop that loft up. Or would a 5 iron be a little bit better? Because we will still get decent roll out. I think 4 iron might be a little bit better. We had a little touch of D loft this time. Just to keep it down under that wind a little bit. Beautiful swing. Looks to be tracking quite nicely to the hole. Touchdown 196. Mm, and stopped at 197 ish. So I think 4 iron might have been a better option. <coughs> Definitely. Oh wow. Actually, <laughs> I didn't even see where that landed. We are in the bunker. Okay. That was a big, big mistake. I should have stayed with the 4 iron. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologise. Not definitely going to be a flop here, and a bit of a bad lie. I'm almost tempted to put it up to the lob wedge, or up to the sand wedge from the lob wedge, should I say. A little bit of loft, just to be safe. Won't get a full swing. Ah, no, I've done it again. Come back there. <laughs> Got it 16 yards. It's going to be a lengthy putt. We may be taking a bogey here, 12 to 14 feet. Mm, it doesn't look like it's going to go too far. I'm just thinking as well that what I keep forgetting is if I look down at the flag marker, it's telling me it's up about 2 inches. It's playing about 13 feet. We'll put it at 15. And I would say it's going to break about halfway, I'd say about there. Tracking nice. Oh, good read on it. Just needed to go out either a little bit further or a little bit or play it a bit firmer. But we are going to take at least a bogey here. We need to do so. Drop it back to four under. But if I can just stay with par now for the remaining holes. Stroke index five coming up on the 13th. And we should be fairly good. No, in this hole, just play it straight over that bunker on the left. Fast down swing. Should guarantee to carry that. More than comfortably. So I'll speed that up as we are nice and safe in the fairway and we can't see it. Just about anyway. We're 120 to 130 left up 10 feet. Okay, we've got that 141 marker behind us. So... I think I'm a little bit further than 10 yards in front of that. So I'll say we're about 125. That's going to be a gap wedge. Maybe a touch of D-loft. Ball is slightly above the feet, but I will go a bit left and maybe the wind can then bring it back. Um, so wait, what are we saying? 125 roughly, and it's up 10. So say about 128. Maybe I'll just going to reset that loft again. Out there, oh no, the wind is changing, so I'll bring it back a little bit. I have to keep an eye on that actually with the default winds, they do swirl around. Touchdown 124, stopped at 126. Can just about see a glint in there, but it's left us a six feet for birdie. Still a tricky little putt though, it's a good break on it. Hopefully, not up to the driver. 
Maybe about there. Oh, again, <laughs> again, just a little bit more, more. No, I'm getting mixed up with my words now. A little bit more out. <clears throat> I'm getting tongue tied, and it's going to be a tricky one now again for par. Nine footer. So need to get a good look at this one. Looks, it does look from here. Just tracing out a little line in my head. That it is going to break somewhere around about halfway. About there. I've underhit that. I've underhit it again because I didn't move the marker. <clears throat> so we're dropping another shot. I did say that there was plenty of time for things to go wrong. And we are heading in that direction now. Had a pretty good run on the front nine. But now we're having a bit of a bad one. Two bogeys back to back. But we have got a par five coming up. Won't get, I doubt we'll get there in two. But we should be okay, hopefully, get there in three. And fingers crossed, get a birdie. Get back one of those bogeys that we're after giving back to the course. Now there is the bunker there, isn't there? I think we're okay. Are we going to run out of fairway? Looks like we're safe at 318. And we are <clears throat> plenty of room actually. We're in the middle of the fairway. So 240 to 260, 30. Doesn't look like it's up 30 feet, but then again, the green is up and behind that bunker that you can see in the distance. Uh, going by that marker 214, I'd say, say maybe about 240. Maybe about the 240. I don't think we're going to go there in two. So obviously two wood is going to be too long. So we'll play 194. Actually, I'll play 183. Just get it up the fairway. Ooh, fast down swing. It's held it fairly straight. Ball was above the feet. Should be okay, I think. And we are. Okay. So I've still got a good uh, good distance in, but this is a pitch shot anyway. 55 to 60, don't have a mark. Okay, so we'll say about 56, maybe 57. A go sort of in between. I'm up three, so we'll say closer to 60. I think we'll just keep this straight up maybe. A, yeah, a little touch left, not too much. Let's track him well. On the green, made it to 158. Oh, but still left us on a nine footer. <clears throat> so a little bit left, I think we were. Where did we end up actually on the green in relation to the hole? From there, um, went in behind the hole actually. So it was it was playing closer to the. I think it was 50. Doesn't again look like it's going to break too aggressive. Say maybe about here. Did give it enough that time, and now we've burned the left side this time. A little bit too much pace on it that time. But we do make the par and remain at three under par. <clears throat> So, moving along, four to play. Now, 3.99, down 35. Okay, usually that bunker in the fairway, that's roughly in and around about the landing area. I'll take a big chance, the fast downswing is going to carry it. It's a big, big, big chance that we're going to play here. But hopefully, I did push it a little bit. The wind can hold its right of that, but we now have the chance of going into the fairway, or yeah, the fairway bunker after it. <clears throat> but I think the fairway actually does feed the ball a bit left. And we are in the fairway, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it did indeed have fed it left around that, uh, that fairway bunker there. So 65 to 70. I'd say, looking at that 52, I'd say about 65. 
excuse me. Um, yeah, so if I say 65, this should check up fairly quick. Let's go strike. It did check up, but oh, it's made it to 66, but it looks good. Looks nice and close, and it is at one foot to the hole. We won't, uh, won't have a look at that replay. We'll just send it home and get it back to four under with three to play. So, realistic chance, hopefully, um, with a par five to finish off the round anyway, to stay under par. With 390... Now, I don't know why I'm looking at that, because obviously we're not going to get there in one, so don't need to worry about that yet. Um, wind is slightly angled. Now, this is a tricky one. That should be that fairway bunker that I can just see under those trees ahead. So, perfect, perfect. Should be just nice here. It is a good swing. A little bit of a push on it um, with the wind, but I think we should be okay. Looking at those numbers, it's running nicely. Came to a gentle stop at 3.15, so we should be in the fairway. And we are. With 75 to 80 yards in no marker there. So we'll play it as about 77. We'll go in the middle again. <coughs> uh, so what did I say? 77. Um, 77. So that's going to be a pitching wedge. Hopefully now it should check up fairly quick with the greens being soft. And hopefully it is closer to the 77. Looks good though. Touch down to 74. Made it to 78. Still going to speed it up. Leaving us at 4 feet. This looks like it should be just a left edge. Make sure to give it enough to get there this time. And um, we do take another birdie and back to five under. With the final par three of the course. Depending on pin position. It, oh, this looks to be front. It is. So 186 to the front of the green. Wind is fairly calm. I'll say it's maybe about four or five mile per hour um, at most. So 191 down eight. So that is going to be 188 to the pin roughly. Got to take a chance the wind won't affect it too much and play 6 iron. It's a beautiful swing. Looks like it's heading straight for it. Touchdown about 180. Made it to 188. Speed it up the rest of the way. Went on a little bit, or did we? Where are we? Oh, we're just in front. Just made it onto the front of the green. <clears throat> Put that pin in. <coughs> Excuse me. So not too much left to right, but it does want to try and feed back right to left right at the end just before the hole. So I will say roughly about there. Looks good. And it is, and we take it to six under. So we move on to the final hole, par five. <coughs> Hopefully we can get a birdie here, if not an eagle. It is more than reachable. Aiming straight away, just left of that tree on the fairway. With fast downswing, downswing should be just nice. Oh, but I got the perfect instead. It's feeding towards the tree. <coughs> Gone through the tree by the look of the ball trail. But we are more than safe in the fairway anyway. Even us about 200 to 220. I will say, going by the 170. I'll again, I'll go in the middle and say about 210. So it's going to be a 4 iron. Ball is ever so slightly above the feet. I'll go a little bit left. Wind is picked up again. It looks to be tracking well. Just don't come too far right because if it comes up short, it's in that bunker. Touchdown, I think it was 193. It stopped fairly quick. We're in the heavy rough. Just came up a bit short. But just a chip shot should be good here. 10 to 12 yards. A little bit of loft on it. 
Oh, that's gone too far left. I shouldn't have put the loft on. That was a bit of a weird decision from me. To put the loft on, so it's a tricky put now just for the birdie. But it's not breaking too aggressively, so it's more than makeable. So it's going to break maybe about here. So to uh, put it up to about there. Go on, turn. Hold that line. Just cut that left edge. Drop it in for the birdie. And I think that's seven under. It is indeed. So, very good score here at Pebble Beach. One of my all-time favourite courses. Great. Bit of a bad start. Bit of a shaky start with that bogey. But then a nice string of birdies there uh, on the front nine. And then just a couple of shaky shaky holes there. 12 and 13. Picking up back-to-back -back bogeys. But then a nice little run apart. I have uh, birdies, should I say to close out the round guys that's going to do it for this one i hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop it a like and if you're only new to the channel or you haven't already make sure to subscribe if you wish and you do enjoy the content here on the channel and as always until the next one take care have yourselves a good one and bye for now